HAC 1001, elevator pitch. Networking events. I've outlined two events. The first is the Trans Species Collective's Batopia, set to be held in the Ida Gallery in New York on July 26 and 27 of this year. Described as an interactive VR experience that invites the player to navigate the sensory world as a bat, immersing the player in the world of an animal with sensory modalities very different from our own. I'd like to ask, how was this VR experience created and designed? What might an event like this one lead to in the future? And how far can we take this technology for transhuman and transspecies existences? The second event I've outlined is the Combinatorics of Fundamental Physics Workshop, organized by the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton University, set, set to be held from November 18 to 22, also of this year. I'd like to ask, what are the implications of combinatorics for black hole research, the holographic universe theory, ADS-CFT correspondence, string and superstring theory, the false quantum vacuum decay, and the relatively nascent fields exploring a white hole slash big bounce slash non-singular origin of our universe, and even the quasi-crystalline spin network, or QSN. My pitch. Hi, I'm Zed Hildro Firestone. I'm a student of Physics and First Nations Australia at the University of Southern Queensland. Why attempt such a duality of humanities and science? I want to unite the past and the future into the present, the ancient and the transhuman into a manifold of universal experience. I want to be everything, and I think that we can make this experience a reality for everyone who wants and feels the same. Physics is making unapologetic advances into the strata of our reality. I share just such an aspiration, and I aim to make a career in theoretical and particle physics, or string theories, or the, even the geometries, mathematics, and range of entities that we keep uncovering with each new step into our densely layered universe. If physics is the what of the 22nd century, transhumanism is the how, and vice versa. And the voices of all groups and peoples play a role in this ultimate mission of going beyond the physical limitations of our species. Hence, I believe that everyone has a responsibility to make alliances with the indigenous peoples of Earth. We need to fashion a universal consciousness, artificial intelligence as being a slight precursor to this monumental stage of evolution, of people so transformed by emerging cybernetic technologies that all our categories will disappear and be resolved in a kind of total equality. No age, no sex, gender, no appearance, race, ethnicity, ability, anything to divide us. And I think that the rapidly advancing projects of synthetic and new ways of assisted reproduction and biology and sync with our cybernetics hold a key to liberating people from all of these categories and bringing us together with new capacities for discovery and friendship and science and imagination. When we begin to liberate Homo sapiens, we can then turn our attention fully to elevating Earth as a total system and venture out into the interstellar expanse while sustaining life and guiding evolution on this planet that we have once called home. Yeah.